Okay, so today what we're going to look at is how you can use visual.NET assemblies in PowerBuilder Classic Win32 applications. Uh, there is another video where uh, we talk about how we can use um, uh, non-visual uh, assemblies, and it turns out to be fairly simple uh, using uh, uh, com callable wrappers. Visual controls are, are a bit trickier. Um, fortunately, Microsoft gave us a, a little bit of a, uh, a tool in, in our efforts they released something called the Interop Forms Toolkit 2.1. It was primarily aimed at uh, Visual Basic 6 users um, who wanted to add uh, .NET visual, Visual .NET capability into their Visual, Bas visual Basic 6, 6 applications. Uh, but what basically what it does is it takes a, a Visual .NET assembly and puts an ActiveX control wrapper around it and, and makes it basically an ActiveX control. Uh, but once you've done that, you know, of course, any Win32 application can use it, including PowerBuilder. So what you can do is you can grab this toolkit. Unfortunately, what it is, it's an add-in for Visual Studio. Um, and because it's an add-in for Visual Studio, uh, PowerBuilder.net can't use it. In fact, the, um, the Express versions of uh, Visual Studio can't use it either. You have to be using a uh, standard or professional or higher version of uh, Visual Studio. Um, so once you've added that add-in in, um, you can go to File, New Project. Um, you go to the Visual Basic Windows projects, and you've got a couple of new options here. And the one we're primarily interested in is this VB Interop User Control. So if you select that, and then go ahead and open up the uh, user object you created, that's basically the ActiveX control right there. And so what we want to do is, you know, drop on any visual controls then the, from .NET that we want to expose, uh, including, let's say, the picture box. Um, and, um, and and that's actually the sample I'm going to show. I'm going to show you be using a picture box. You drop that onto this uh, into this ActiveX frame and uh, compile, and at that point you have an ActiveX. So well, let's go back to um, the, the one that... Uh, I've already created. Uh, open that up. So I, what I've done is I've dropped a, a picture box on here. Now you might ask, you know, why why am I so concerned about using a picture box? Well, picture box has one really nice piece of functionality, in that uh, in that if you pass it a URL uh, for an for an image, it will go find that you that image and it will load it directly into the picture control. You don't have to do anything special like like download it to a local file and then upload it into a picture control like you might have to do with PowerBuilder. Um, so that I, that I thought was a really nice feature and I wanted to take advantage of it. And I particularly want to take advantage of it in my in my Win32 application. Um, so that's what I'm doing here. I, uh, I dropped the picture control into that ActiveX frame. I've coded a couple methods here basically that get exposed to PowerBuilder um, just by declaring them here. This is the, the, the interop code. So I have a load URL that, where I'm just going to take a, uh, a URL, pass it in, and that just turns around and passes it into the picture control. And the other one here is this the uh, size mode. So the picture box control has a couple, you know, like five different ways it can display the image once you've loaded it. Um, and um, these, are, these are enumerated values, and uh, they, don't have to, <laughs> they don't actually have to match the enumerated values I put on there. Uh, but uh, what I want to do, since the power builder is not going to know anything about uh, you know .NET enumerated values, um, I just pass in a number and I convert that number into the uh, particular mode I'm looking for. Um, so that's it. You get that, you compile it, and it's basically an ActiveX at that point. So you go to Power Builder and you open up a window, and you say that you want to insert a, an Olay control. And you go to the Insert Control panel, and right there is the URL that I the, the I'm sorry not the URL the the ActiveX I I've created uh, that wraps that that .NET object. Um, I'm going to do away with that. I've already got it right here, so I'm not going to I'm not going to bother putting it on again. So kill that. So so here's my control. And if you go to the constructor event here, what I've actually done in the constructor event is I've called that that you load URL method that you saw earlier, and I'm passing in a uh, a reference to a, an image off the internet. 
and then of course in the, each of these little command these uh, radio buttons over here I am um, accessing the uh, the size mode method of the uh, of the ActiveX control that I've created and I'm passing in a different value for the different size I want so we go ahead and run that and boom and everybody knows who my favorite uh, what my favorite television show is and my favorite actor on that television show but uh, you see it, it loaded that image off the uh, off the internet and uh, there it is applying all the different sizes to it so that is a dotnet visual um, uh, control uh, operating within my uh, my win32 uh, uh, power builder application so it's a, it's actually pretty much that simple. The only the only caveat I would throw out there is that um, uh, because Visual Basic and Power Builder handle events a little bit differently, uh, it's a little it's a little bit trickier to get events from the Visual Control up to Power Builder. There is a way to do it. I've got a PBJ article on it. I've got so, uh, some other samples where I've actually implemented it. Um, it's a little bit too complex to get into into the, in a, such a short video as this. So if you're interested in that kind of information or just want to see the sample code that uh, that I've got here, uh, go ahead and send me an email at bruce.armstrong at yahoo.com, and I've got the uh, I've got the uh, the samples available on Google Docs, and I can send you the URL for that. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Um, thanks for your attention.